every step she takes is an opportunity for her to feel the release that comes from stepping in the sweet spot or the work that comes from stepping out. Hi, Dennis here, Capital Training and Shoeing. Today I've got a real typical horse to deal with. This horse is, uh, is lacking in respect. Um, this horse is, is, you know, is very pretty and has been reminded of how pretty she is her whole life, probably with, with treats and a lot of loving and a lot of well-meaning kindness from the owner. But there is never, she never was told no. And, and the horse is, is sort of developed a dependency on uh, control in every situation because she can. So I'm gonna turn her out and uh, just start to work here. And, and our, our goal here is gonna be to establish some respect so that we can we can start a meaningful communication between me and her so i'm going to take her to the other end of the pen if you notice right now that she's not paying any attention to me, she's just walking off and leaving me. And that, you know, everything is more important to her than, than I am right now. So I've got this rope in my hand, and the reason that I have a rope instead of anything else at the moment is because I can reach out and touch her with that rope and give her a reason to look back at me. When she leaves me, I'm not going to let her run down the fence because I don't want her to learn how to escape me. I want her to pay attention to me. And, uh, you know, I'm going to use a drawing, drawing effect here to get her to look at me. Right there she's looking. So I'll let that be real easy. Let her, ha let her come to me at that, with that kind of an attitude. Her approach here is good. I like the way that she stopped right there. You know, that, that's a respectful distance. And the attitude that she approached me with was very good. She's reaching for a treat and I don't have one. So the treat that I'm gonna give her <laughs> is simply rewarding her with a kind touch. Now she's pushing on me a little bit as I'm, as I'm uh, touching her there and she just decided to leave so I'll just make her work at that when a horse sticks her nose down like that they're ignoring you she's running shouldering into me tried to run past me there there now when she did stop and look at me with both eyes she actually backed up that is a real strong sign of respect. That's a good thing. I'm gonna let her have a minute in that. Let her just kind of relax there. If I walk over here, she should follow me with her attention. Very good. So all I'm doing is making, making it real easy here Brittany sticking her nose on me here looking for a treat and when there wasn't a treat then she left I like that she just kept her eye on me and didn't try to leave that time she let me she needs to stay put when I want to touch her so I'm gonna just pet her I'm gonna pet her with this rope. She chose to leave. So she chose to go into more work. I ask her to come out here with me. Get stopped there. I'm gonna pet her with this rope. She left. give her every chance in the world to come be with me 
if she chooses to go away, that's her choice, not mine. I like that she's backing up there. That's a good thing. I'm gonna come up and put my hand on her. This is a that head flipping there is a sign that she is not really liking what's going on and she's <laughs> using that as a as a tool to get me to quit. And quitting is going to come when her full attention is on me and she's not trying to get away every time the opportunity comes. Come on. Okay. Everything is fine. being quiet here now because I want her to stay put. There's that playfulness again that comes out in a in an animal that has been told no. And they don't like being told no. So she's using those shoulders as an expression of, I'm gonna let her stand here. And keep this rope out in plain sight and let her accept touching this rope. I imagine that somebody has tried to catch her behind the lead rope behind her back and then coming to it and then and then spraying it on her when when they come to catch her so she's learned how to get away. What I like right here is the fact that that the horse is staying with me. I'm not going to let her run down the fence if I can keep from it. I'm going to get up here a little closer. And go ahead and touch her with this rope. She's trying to run by me. And I'm just not letting her run by me, but I am letting her Look at me. Got her nose down trying to ignore me. Pet her with that rope right now. Get her back in here with me. There we go. Okay, now I used my hand on her nose right there that time to help stabilize her help her to stay put while I'm brushing her with this with this rope. 
I'm going to move back here towards her hip and help her just a minute to move her hip away from me. Like that. She flipped her nose up over the top of my hand. I'm going to ask, there's, there's a good, good signal right there. She came to me looking for a treat. There's no treat there. The treat is going to come from staying put and feeling me touch her and comfort her and make this the best deal for her by using this rope as a brush. You see, it's, it's not the rope that caused her any issue in moving away. It was her choice to leave. I simply made the choice to leave more difficult than the choice to stay. The fact that she's staying here right now is a real big shift in attitude for this horse. And this is what comes by holding fast to a clear picture of what I want and not letting anything else but what's in my picture be present. She left. Give her a chance to come back in here. She sticks that nose down. She just Hoping that I'll go away. I want her to follow me around here. Very good. Now we can walk on. I can see in the shadow that she's with me, so I don't have to look back at her. I'm using the shadow as a as a tool to help me. The nice thing about this is, is she's keeping a respectful distance from me. She's not moving until I tell her to move. <laughs> and she is moving when I, when I ask her to move. When I ask her to move, I'll, I'll take the pressure off, let moving that, that hind end away be the right thing, and then I simply turn away from her. And that made it real easy for her to come with me. I come on this side and look back at her hip that made it easy for her to come be with me. Now I stand here. You see it? And when I'm reaching for her head, you know, right there, she wanted to just stick her head up. So I didn't quit just because she stuck her head up. I kept my hand right there on her forehead, waited. She's pushing on me a little bit right now. There she softened. When she softened, then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and let her come with me again. I'm trying to make her presence close to me the most pleasant thing for her. She's keeping a respectful distance now, so I'm being very low energy and letting her enjoy that spot. Now, a minute ago when she was running away, she was, she was doing that because she could. Now, because of the size of the pen that I'm in, I could make when she left more difficult than when she's staying. If we'd been out outside, see her sniffing there trying to find a treat again. There, there was her, her trying to cross back over and taking over. My, <laughs> I don't think that a horse has the ability very well anyway to sort out when it's okay to eat a treat and when it's not if they get in the habit of eating treats all the time every time they did something you know or every time they didn't do something just because they could then when you don't have a treat they they don't know what to do with that 
so I, I like to present it to them in a way that me taking pressure off and her coming to be with me is a treat that that she likes that that's that is a treat so with that line of thinking every step she takes is an opportunity for her to feel the release that comes from stepping in the sweet spot or the work that comes from stepping out the release that comes from being in my picture or the work that comes from getting out of my picture then the animal chooses where they want to be they they choose to be in pressure or out of pressure and right now this horse has got a real peaceful look in her eye she's comfortable and she's respectful and uh, it's a far cry from the horse that we let out of the stall just just a minute ago and and uh, she's she's now standing on a foundation a foundation of respect that we can build on each day and and have her come out to be a useful companion for the lady that owns her so you know this is just a uh, an everyday occurrence you know and and i meet the horse where they're at mentally every time i get in the presence of them if i come out tomorrow and she's pushing on me well i'm going to send her away if i come out and she's she's soft and respectful like she is right now I'm going to let her be soft and respectful. I ask her to come here this way. Very good. You see, she's choosing to come be with me, and she's liking the feel of that respectful distance. So that's how I would deal with, with uh, reestablishing respect or maybe establishing respect for the first time. And the benefits from having respect are safety and a foundation that we can build upon and that, that will allow these horses to become useful companion partners for you and, and so that you can have a real relationship. In this relationship, there's only room but for one leader and it can't be the horse. And if the horse is pushing on you, if the horse is, is running away from you, doing all sorts of things that, that aren't workable, they're doing that because they can. So it's up to you, <laughs> the handler, to fill in that role of leader so that so that we can establish uh, this relationship she's looking for treats again <laughs> but anyway it you know they never just arrive it's a, it's an ongoing watch and respond to what's going on at the moment that's what i talk about uh, so much in in what i call reading of the horse and if i read the attitude of the horse correctly and i respond according to the attitude then she's gonna respond back to me. She left me, so I'll get her back here. Once a horse takes contact with me, in other words, they acknowledge my presence, until I'm finished, <laughs> I feel like they need to stay hooked with me. And if, and they'll, if they'll stay hooked with me, I'll, I'll make being with me the most pleasant thing. If they come unhooked, I'll, I'll have to put them back to work until they decide to, to join back up with me. And then when I'm finished, when I'm finished with them, I like to maybe just tap them on the forehead like that a little bit and then walk away so they know that, that they can do whatever they want to do. So anyway, I hope you find that helpful and I appreciate you taking your time to watch the video.